I really believe that St. Clair's is the place to come for an orthopedic procedure. The physicians, the nursing staff, the level of just caring on a human level, really taking care of people, it's also a more personal experience. It wouldn't be unusual at all to meet a patient at the local supermarket or a family member who wants to give you an update on your patient's condition. You know, I've been at St. Clair's Hospital now for 17 years, and, and to me, really, St. Clair's is my home. The people that I work with are like an extension of my family. It's that type of experience here. What really attracted me to orthopedics is that in orthopedic surgery, we see children, we see the the middle ground, the 30s and 40s, we see the elderly, and usually we're addressing a problem that, that has a, a definitive solution. We're either treating a, a fracture, which we can heal, or an arthritic condition, which we can remedy. There's an outcome that's satisfactory, and that's really a big attraction. Today we're gonna to be doing an, a right knee replacement. One of the things that patients are always confused about is what exactly are you replacing when you get in there? This is the setup for a knee replacement. And what I'm gonna show you basically is what we're gonna be putting inside the knee that uh, really are trial components. And we have a variety of sizes and, and, and shapes of implants. And then we take the actual implants sterile out of a box. I explain to the patients, your ligaments will remain your ligaments, your muscles are still your muscles, your tendons are still your tendons. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna put a new bearing surface on the bone. This is like the end of the thigh bone. We have to do a certain amount of shaping and cutting of the bone in order to get that on, but it's basically gonna be a cap on the end of the thigh bone. So on the tibial side, it'll be a base plate right on the bone, and then there'll be a bearing which will be between the two metal components. All of that, takes us about an hour, an hour and 15 minutes to accomplish. In most cases, we're doing this under a spinal anesthetic with the patient lightly sedated so they're not hearing things in the room and not disturbed by the sounds that are going on. The uh, x-rays are shown up above, and that's a standing view of both knees. And uh, what it demonstrates is a loss of joint space, a loss of cushioning between the bones, which we're now gonna replace with metal and plastic. The real satisfaction is, is the patient feedback. How are you? Fine. Yeah? I'm walking at will to the bathroom with a walker by myself. By yourself? You're able to get out of bed by yourself? And yes. Get to the bathroom? Absolutely. And your pain level? Low. Good. I Good. think it will go up when I get to... When you get to rehab? <laughs> yes. Well, they're going to work you a little bit harder. Of course they yeah. are. Yeah. They're going to push you a little bit harder than the therapist did here. When I see you in my office, then we'll discuss ongoing rehabilitation, outpatient therapy, and so on. Right. Right? Yeah. Good. I'm very pleased. They're grateful and they're, they're, they're so satisfied that they're able to do things or they're out of pain. That's tremendously rewarding.